What's up guys? Today we're going to be shooting some fat fish. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and read your Bibles. Oh, right there. I see a baby. We should do that. Oh, really? I'm going to take up the Okay, yeah. Good choice. <laughs> Plenty of action in this video right here. Starting off with some whales. I don't get them on film, but you could hear them. The farther you get down, the louder it gets, and it just sounds like vibrating in your chest when you're down at the bottom next to some whales. Check it out. All right, here I'm taking out this invasive called Toao. It's a type of snapper here in Maui. I saw it go right under this rock. So I'm lining up and you could see I loaded my bands to the lowest setting so I don't just shoot right in some coral and bend my shaft. And I hit this guy right in the eye. This thing is fat and I'm stoked. So I'm about to shoot the fattest Roy, AKA Peacock Grouper, that I think I've ever even seen. And I'm breathing up right here. I'm inhaling, holding it, exhaling, inhaling. I, I, what I try and do is I try and get all the air in my stomach. And then as like the first compartment and then the second compartment, my chest. And then even sometimes try and get a little bit of air in my cheeks so that I have an extra reserve to breathe in. And there it is. And it didn't look that big from the top. I stone it and just look around. Just cause sometimes when I shoot, I'll see a shark come in or something. They hear the gun and they think fish. And then right here, I'm like, man, this guy's fat. I did not realize how big this was. And I love eating these things. They're so beautiful. Such a beautiful fish and an invasive. So we're trying to kill them here in Maui anyway. Here I'm stoked for my dive buddy getting his second moo he's ever got. Really tough fish to catch right here. First moo? Yeah. Not second. Oh, second moo. This is my poke reef fish. I love shooting this. This is called a Nanui. And they're right there in the shallows. You can find them in schools in deeper water and even in schools in the shallows, but sometimes they just hang out alone and this guy makes some seriously good poke. So whenever you're diving a real fishy place, if you're a reef diver, you gotta bring the three prong. Here we got some cole. You can see in that crevice, you see that empachi over there? Man, this place was loaded. And this makes some awesome fish fry. Kole Mimpachi all day.
Here's another dive. Got this taco running away from me, trying to slide under that Vana right there, AKA sea urchin. And he gets stuck a few times. I end up catching this guy, taking him home, trying to cut out the beak and the eyes and the Vana that got stuck in him ends up getting stuck in me back at the house. So just gotta be super careful. I've gotten Vana a lot just by trying to grab some taco. Here it is, this lobster right there in that hole. Man, don't just put your hand in random cracks. This is where I get bit and unfortunately, I don't get the eel on video, but I get the aftermath. Check it out. Just got bit by an eel. Oh, that hurt. Oh, man. Luckily, this was just a warning bite. They can grip onto your fingers and then do the death roll, and that's how they rip your fingers off. But this was just a warning bite. Get out of my hole. That did not feel good. Oh, my gosh. Ah. All right, well, add another animal to the checklist. Whew. Oh, thank you for these gloves. Oh, man. Yeah, that one cut. Oh. Here you're gonna see my buddy get some Vana going for this taco right here. He puts his hand, boom, right on the Vana. And I gotta tell you, that does not feel good. So it's gonna come up pretty soon. I'm gonna go down and finish getting this taco because he was stuck in there. If you've ever been stuck with Vana, you know it doesn't feel good and it's annoying for about two weeks. There's a little smoke screen right there. You know, that's their escape mechanism. To grab this guy, pretty nice size. And come up, hand it to my dive buddy because he spotted it. This is his taco, proper etiquette. You don't want to be diving with people that just taking things that you find. Here's another dive buddy getting a taco. This guy's a straight beast. Been diving for so long. Just getting taco. Both these dive buddies got the taco eye. They just get them all the time. I'm just trying to learn from these guys, to be honest. Usually I stay at the surface when my buddy's diving, keep an eye on him. Here we're shallow and I want to get him some cool footage. So gets his taco, starts to ink a little bit, then starts to brain it and it just inks a whole bunch. But get some cool footage 
him coming up to the surface. Here this papillo swims right under me. Usually it's best to get to the bottom before you take a shot, but there's also different tactics dive bombing in here. I dive bomb this guy, starts to swim, and I get him right by this rock. Boom. Some nice sashimi for dinner right here. Pulling him up super slow because it's a gut shot. So my buddy goes down, gets a backup three prong, secures the fish, and then brings it to me. So you see how dive etiquette, it's, it's so awesome. He's helping me when I'm having trouble, I'm helping him when he's having trouble. And that's just part of diving. So here I'm braining it, just killing it as humanely as possible, then gonna throw him on my cooey. This also helps so that he's not moving around and attracting sharks. So when you're diving with a three prong, you'll notice this guy has a really good tactic. He's diving about 15 feet away from the coral reef and then slowly creeping over. And he's got a good breath hold, so he's taking a couple shots. He already got one fish on, he's gonna take another one. But that's important to dive away from it and slowly creep over so you don't spook the fish if you dive right on top of it. So there he goes, he got two and then he's coming back up. Nice, nice food. It's gonna be a nice dinner right there, some fish fry. Here my buddy's getting a taco, sees one in a hole, pulls it out, looks at it, too small. It's gotta be a pound, he lets it go. Of course it starts inking, but he's not in danger anymore. So goes back to his hole. All right, now it's my turn to dive. Here's a good lesson. It's important to try to get stone shots. I shoot this Polani, which I love to make fish tacos out of, and I don't get a stone shot. He swims through the coral head, and then I gotta spend a few dives uh, going down, branding him, getting him untangled, and getting my shaft back through the coral head. But after this, I'm gonna teach you how to make some fish tacos with some Roy. Thanks for tuning in. What's up guys? Today we're making some Baja fish tacos out of the invasive Roy, AKA Peacock Grouper. Let's do it. First thing to do when filleting, sharpen your knife. Abraham Lincoln said, if you give me six hours to cut down a tree, I'll spend the first four hours sharpening an ax. Ecclesiastes 10.10, Solomon said, if the axe is dull and its edge unsharpened, more strength is needed, but skill will bring success. You wanna have a good time uh, filleting your fish? Make sure your knife is nice and sharp. All right, gonna give you guys a nice little rundown of what we're gonna be doing here. So we got our knife nice and sharp, uh, just a typical fillet knife. I'm gonna start here on the backbone and cut about an inch incision all the way down as close to these fins as I can get, all the way down to the tail. Then I'm gonna cut it all the way through and then peel the skin back and slowly just cut the meat off the bones. Now for me, a big fish like this, I just cut in half because I don't like to throw them straight in the trash. Put them in the freezer until the trash is gonna come around. That way it doesn't stink up and my neighbors have to deal with that. Going back to the flay knife, I like to make a little incision right over here just to get some grip 
and then these fillet knives are bendy, so I just bend it as I cut at like a like a 45 degree angle. And it's pretty cool. You can see it just coming right off the skin like that. You see that? All right, there we got skin and meat. Now you feel along these lines, there's some bones in here. So what I do, get rid of the bones. And there's some belly right here too. So some rib bones, get rid of that and some spinal bones just cut a little I'm gonna lose a little bit of meat but it's all right better to lose a little bit of meat and be able to eat without getting bones than to have a lot of meat with a lot of bones we got a meat right here we're gonna cut them into the size of the fillets that we want to eat. So I like to do about maybe four inch by one inch. All right, so with all that fish, we got 17 fish tacos. Now we're gonna take the cabbage, red onion, cut them up, mix them together with vinegar to put on our fish tacos. Now we take our apple cider vinegar, Supposed to be three tablespoons for five cups. I'm just gonna eyeball it. I think that's good. Now that we got our fish fillets and our toppings, we're gonna be working on our chipotle aioli that makes it the real Baja fish tacos. All right, guys, this is what really makes the fish tacos the chipotle aioli sauce. So we're gonna use, with 17 uh, tacos that we're gonna make, we're gonna do a cup and a half of mayo, four tablespoons of lime juice. We got lemon juice here, but lime juice, lemon juice, either way. And then six adobe chiles, and you wanna get some of that chili sauce in there as well. Then we're gonna do just a scoop full of uh, garlic. We get all set, and then we'll have a very tasty fish taco. You want it a nice consistency, so just a little thick, not too runny. If it's too runny, add a little more mayo, and if it's too thick, add a little more lime juice, but this is the perfect consistency right here. Oh yeah, that's good. All right, we're starting off with some extra virgin olive oil. Just throwing a little bit in the pan, letting it heat up. We're gonna use some Hawaiian salt some black pepper, some red chili flakes, crushed pepper, and some chili powder. Lastly, we'll put a little bit of this ginger in just to mix with the olive oil. Our cabbage. Sometimes I put avocado on this, but not today.
you got some green chives or cilantro, make it look nice and colorful. That's our fish tacos. Thank you for allowing us to catch and be able to eat. In Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Mmm. Guys, thanks for watching. I super appreciate the support. You know, I just got one question for you guys. Are you happy? You know, rate yourself on a scale of one to 10 on happiness. Seven years ago, I was trying to find happiness through sex, drugs, uh, money, just the, the immediate gratification that the world has to offer. And I was raised in a Christian household. I, I, I had never really studied the Bible on my own. And one day someone came up to me and said, hey, do you want to study the Bible? And I thought to myself, I'm already a Christian. I already believe in Jesus. But I had never made my convictions off the Bible. And I, I just want to read you one scripture right here. Psalm 119, a scripture that changed my life. Verse 1 and 2 of Psalm 119. Blessed are they whose ways are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who keep his statutes and seek him with all their heart. Blessed, a lot of people don't know what blessed means. Blessed means superlatively happy. A happiness that's only from God. So even on bad days, you can be happy if you're blessed. But blessed comes only from seeking God with all your heart. You know, I appreciate you guys supporting and watching this video. And I'm going to try and keep this short. But I just want to encourage you, seek out with all your heart. You know, God's calling you to go pro. Pray, read, obey every day. If you've been a subscriber, if you're watching, or if you just like the content of spearfishing and shooting fish and putting food on the table. I want to encourage you, read your Bible. God has something greater planned for your life. And you'll never be truly fulfilled. You'll never be truly happy until you start seeking God with all your heart. Guys, thank you so much for watching my content. As always, if you enjoy it, like, subscribe, and don't forget, read your Bibles. Shoots.